I apologize, Subaru. I cannot allow that, even if it's a request coming from you. I must ask that you give up on joining the meeting. This is for me? Thank you. I will cherish it forever. Forever? I don't think it'll last that long. Your kind gesture just makes me that happy. I cannot permit you inside, but I can offer my assistance with anything else. Then I'll take you up on that. Do you know where Ram Ram keeps her secret tea leaves stash? Sister's tea leaves? They should be in the cabinet in the back of the kitchen. That's right, the kitchen! But if you drink her tea, Sister will be very upset with you. Don't worry, Ram. I won't drink any of it. Aren't you bored waiting out here all by yourself? Why don't you take a little break? Oh, thanks. I was just feeling a little parched. Are you sure I can have some? What is it? Oh, I was just thinking about how I should have spiked your tea. What made you think that? This is safe to drink, right? Who's to say? Just remember that it was offered as a gesture of hospitality to our most welcome guest. What a horrifying threat. Just what in the world is it you want from me? For starters, why don't you cough up your name? Oh. Is that all? I'm Tiga Raulian, but you can just call me Tiga. And you? I'm Subaru Natsuki. Just call me Subaru. And you don't need to worry. Your tea hasn't been poisoned. That's a relief. But you aren't lying now, are you? So suspicious. What made you this way? This is obviously your fault! Good grief. Well, you went out of your way to prepare this tea for me, so I assume you want to ask me something? I'm glad you catch on quick. Tiga, do you have a lover of some sort? That's rather sudden. 
I wouldn't go that far, but there is someone my heart is latched onto. Does that answer your question? Yeah, that works for me. On that note, can you also tell me why you're here today? <laughs> That's rather sudden, too. I did just mention that I came with an important emissary, though. Uh, I know you did, but I was hoping to learn a little bit more than that. <sighs> to tell you the truth, <laughs> I uh, got kicked out. I don't want to end up being hung out to dry here. So please, Tiga, you'd really be helping out an old friend with this. How did we become such old acquaintances already? Besides, you're asking for too much here. While I'd love to help a friend in need, I don't particularly know what my friend's standing is at this mansion. In fact, I don't even know your background. But we're super pals! Subaru, we only just met. Though, it doesn't take much to see how deeply you care for Miss Amelia. I can easily understand your feelings for her. So... So? I'll be rooting for you! That doesn't help me at all! Do you understand the weight of your situation? We're talking about the next ruler of the Kingdom of Lagunica. You may end up in a highly revered position in the future. Maybe. But right now, we're just a super cute girl and a useless servant boy. But who knows what the future has in store for us? The possibilities are endless! Even if I'm not worthy, I'll do whatever it takes to win her over. It'd be ideal if I keep improving to make this into a mutually beneficial relationship. You have an interesting perspective. I'm honestly impressed. Not many can say something like that with so much confidence. Maybe my friend here is a better person than I was first led to believe. Right back at ya! You recognized Melee right away, even though she's still had her hood up. Are you referring to the cute robe she was wearing? What makes it so special? That robe was made by a pretty sketchy magician of ours to block others from recognizing her so easily. Not to mention she had it upgraded recently. It's impossible to see through the magic unless you have the power to override it or Melee willingly lets you see her. So you were sizing me up from the get-go, eh? That's not very nice of you, buddy. Oh, no! It was totally by coincidence, pal. It was something I only just realized earlier when I was pouring us this tea in the mansion. I guess you won't buy my story of just being the envoy of the emissary, then. In that case, you have my respects for your intellect and... Ah, never mind. It seems we've run out of time. Huh? <sighs> Sorry for the wait, Tika. Welcome back, Sakura. Did you do what was needed of you as an emissary without issue? Of course. Even I can handle something as simple as this. Well then, sorry for asking. Hey, Tiga, is she...? Alright, she's the emissary I came with. I... I see. Have you made a new friend, Tiga? You don't usually hang out with other boys. Wait, so he's one of those types? Damn it, I thought we were friends. You're a harsh critic! Sakura, I really wish you wouldn't confuse someone I've only just acquainted myself with. You know it's not often I get opportunities like this. Yes, yes. I'm Sakura Element, Tiga's colleague. And you are? 
I'm Subaru Natsuki. I'm Tiga's former friend and a colleague of Rem's. And I've already been demoted. <laughs> it seems you two have gotten quite close already. Please take good care of him. Also... I assume you'll be setting out to the royal capital as well. If so, I'll see you when you get there. Hmm? Now then, let's get going, Tiga. The princess will worry if we're out for too long. <sighs> Sorry, Subaru, but Sakura's right. I know we'll meet again in the royal capital. Until then. We'll meet again in the royal capital, huh? Hey, about the investigation. Can't Roswell go instead of Melee? I heard he's a prominent magic user in the kingdom, so he must have some connections with the higher-ups. It sounds like things are pretty complicated right now, and I don't think we'd want Melee to go and then have something happen to the Insignia again. Right? Oh, don't say that. I won't let a mistake like that happen twice. But this is you we're talking about here, Melee. Even if you don't get it stolen, you may let something else bad happen if you're not careful. That's not true. Maybe. I don't think so, anyway. All I'm saying is that you should be prepared. What do you think, as her guardian? I see. I wouldn't mind going myself, of course. There are some things I do need to take care of. But in that case, I'd like to take this opportunity to have Subaru's quick wit accompany me. I didn't expect you to call me out like this. Unfortunately for you, I have the noble duty of bolstering my bond with Melee here at the mansion. Now, now, don't say that. We should strengthen our man-to-man -man bond every once in a while, you know. Why would I work on side quests when I haven't even snuggled up with the main heroine yet? You seem to think rather highly of yourself. Do you intend to deny Lord Roswell's heartfelt request? That's not what's going on here! Tell her, Rem! Yes, of course. Lord Roswell, if Subaru is going with you, I would like to tend to you as well. That's not the kind of help I was looking for! But I'll be okay. I think. All right. Are you ready, Subaru? Huh? Ready for what? Oh, are you not the one who brought it up in the first place? I will be going to the royal capital, and you will accompany me. We just discussed this yesterday, remember? But I turned that idea down, remember? Did you think you could just brush it off? The issue presently occurring in the royal capital takes priority above all else. We can't just ignore it and come back to it later. Yeah, but can we at least go over it some more? No, there is no more time for debate. As such, I'll be taking a bit of an aggressive approach to get you up to speed. What? Wait! Hold on! <laughs> what am I, your princess? We're up so high! R Roswell! Ros! What are you? <laughs> do I? Do I? 
You say that, but how do you actually feel right now? I... I kind of like it. Not? This is way too much even for you, you kidnapper! <laughs> what ill manners you have. Rather, let us enjoy our trip in the sky all the way to the royal capital, shall we? And we're here. <sighs> I never imagined I'd get to fly like that in this world. By the way, Roz, er, uh, Lord Roswell. Hmm? What is it, Subaru? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's the royal castle, isn't it? Correct. An excellent deduction. <sighs> Don't correct me! Anyone would recognize it with functioning eyes. Just look how grand it is in the atmosphere of the people here. Not to mention... Who goes there? They're treating us like intruders, and I can't blame them, really. What are we gonna do here? My, my, you worry far too much. I may not look it, but I am quite famous, you know. Good work, soldiers. I am the Lord of the Western Margrave Territory, Roswall L. Mathers. The Western Margrave? Is it really you? See? I told you I was famous, didn't I? That pervert... I mean... That guy with the particular taste in demi-humans. I guess you really are famous, Master. This will not do, Lord Roswell. I have requested before that you enter and exit the castle through the front gates. Pardon my offense, Lord Miklatov. I was in quite the hurry, so I was a tad indolent with my methods. You must understand that I cannot have you trespassing on castle grounds out of apathy. Though I presume you'd be the only person even capable of such a thing. So, you say you've come to discuss something urgent? I suspect you already know the answer to that. Hmm, I suppose it has something to do with the royal selection, then. Indeed, you are correct. It is quite a peculiar decision to postpone a matter that is crucial for the kingdom's survival. Moreover, there was no clear explanation as to why that decision was made. As an endorser of one of the candidates, this is not something I can simply overlook. This isn't a subject we should so freely discuss in the open. And might I ask, who is that boy with you? A servant in training at my manor. Though he may in fact be the pivot in the royal selection. It's a pleasure to... Hold up, are you talking about me? Where'd that come from? You have twice already saved Miss Amelia from Jeopardy. Perhaps even more that I'm unaware of. It's only natural to expect a similar outcome again. Well, it'd be better if Melee didn't get herself in any more danger in the first place. Well then, if he is someone you trust, I will question it no further. As for the postponement of the royal selection, there have been several complications as of late. Oh, ooh, a sixth candidate? How fascinating. That is not how I would describe it. The Council of Wise Men has been debating this complication for several days now. Pardon me, but what are you intending on doing now? The words inscribed on the Dragonstone take precedence above any others. There should only be five candidates, yet six have stepped forth. One of the six is clearly an imposter. I want to expose the imposter by investigating each faction individually, but that may prove difficult. In the meantime, a meeting about this will be held in the coming days. I hope you are able to assist us in identifying the imposter, Lord Roswell. Are you perhaps being too careless? It is possible Miss Amelia may be the imposter you seek after all. To be frank, I do not know Miss Amelia well, if at all. 
it is difficult to determine whether we can believe her. However, I do place my trust in you. I believe you will loyally serve the Kingdom of Lagunica, much like your predecessor and their predecessors before them. My, my, tis an honor to receive such bold praise from the head of the Council of Wise Men. Not to mention that I have no choice but to investigate this matter since you mention my predecessor's loyalties. I shall do my best to live up to your expectations. We appreciate your cooperation. That goes for you as well. Oh, uh, right. I'll, um, do my best. Man, that was so nerve-wracking! That guy was way more intimidating in private than when the soldiers surrounded us. Look, flying into the castle was a bit much. I was afraid of what would have happened. But that allowed us to tend to our matters much more quickly, no? We bypassed the gate and went straight to Lord Miklatov, saving us quite a bit of time. We nearly cut our lifespan short, too! I guess that goes to show just how important you are, Roswell. Did I not explain as such from the start? Why would you ever have cause to doubt me? Maybe because of the way you normally act every day. I didn't realize someone of such high stature trusted you. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Huh? What do you mean? Didn't he say that he trusts you, despite not knowing much about Amelia? Quite the opposite. That was merely an act of intimidation. He was telling me not to go against the kingdom. Not that he trusts me not to. Seriously? Sounds more like he suspects you're up to something, then. I doubt the suspicion is limited to me. Considering the weight of the situation, I suspect we are all under careful scrutiny. We are dealing with someone claiming they have a right to the throne when they in fact do not. The royal selection is an extremely crucial event for the kingdom. When an issue persists like this, it's no wonder the Council of Wise Men becomes so nervous. A sixth candidate. The most concerning matters regard who would do such a thing and why. In any case, we must look into it. What are we gonna do? I have a friend who is very well informed of the rumblings within the royal capital. I intend on talking to him. A friend? You have friends, Roz? Is that not a little rude of you? Hello, Russell, my dear friend. It's been quite a while. I am glad to see you seem to be doing well. I see your tendency to summon others with no regard hasn't changed. I'm actually quite a busy man, you know. Contacting me out of the blue saying you want to talk like this is very inconsiderate. Ah, but such is the beauty of friendship, being able to accommodate such unreasonable requests. By friend, I hope you don't just think of me as being convenient. Well, I certainly will not deny it. You totally should! But I do believe it goes both ways. Oh, apologies for the delayed introductions. Russell, this is... The servant you brought to the castle yesterday, right? What? You heard about that? Impressive. It seems no whispers escape your ears as usual. I wouldn't be able to do my job correctly otherwise. I'm Russell Fellow. I'm known as the treasurer of the Royal Capital's Merchant Guild. Uh, oh! Thank you for the polite introduction. I'm Subaru Natsuki. I'm Ro Lord Roswell's servant. Yeah. Mr. Natsuki. I shall remember that. So... Roswell, for what purpose did you summon me this time? Before I answer that, I was hoping you'd tell me more about the head of the Karsten House's movements as of late. Who were they? 
a candidate competing with Miss Amelia for the throne. She is one of the six candidates of the royal selection, if we include the imposter. I see. I take it you have some idea as to what's been taking place there. Only a little, but I'd rather hear an opinion from someone who is more familiar with the lay of the land here. I guess, if you put it that way, they've been amassing their forces at an alarming rate lately. Soldiers, weapons, armor, land dragons. If this were anyone else, they would have been suspected of rebelling against the Empire. The Karsten House has a better position to consider in this instance. Are you saying they aren't? Considering the head of the family's character, I doubt it. Besides, if they were plotting something, I imagine they'd be more inconspicuous about it. I doubt they would discuss such matters with a loose-lipped merchant like me and risk leaking intel to other opposing factions. Wouldn't you agree? Other than you having loose lips, yes. The biggest question is why they would need all that military might under their belt. Knowing you, I'm sure you've cooked up some theories of your own already. You think much too highly of me. In any case, could I request but a humble favor from you? I can't deny a request from the Margrave himself. What is it you desire? To negotiate an alliance with the Karsten House. I'd like to ask for your assistance in that matter. That's quite the task you're asking. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Hey, Roswell, shouldn't Mealy be with us? This is nothing more than an explanation as to why the royal selection has been postponed. They should hardly blame her for having her representatives attend in her stead. Yeah, but... Did you notice something about the nun? No, oh, no. I simply thought of how she seems to be the cute and innocent type you prefer. You know I only have eyes for Melee. Hold that thought. They appear to be moving the discussion along. Well, Margrave Mathers. It appears the truth has presented itself. Oh? How do you figure, Lord Bordeaux? As far as I can tell, no issues have been found with anyone's insignia. Precisely. If there are no concerns with any of the gathered candidates, then the one not currently present is surely the imposter. What? Ah, my apologies. I don't harbor the least bit of suspicion against Miss Amelia, so such a possibility hadn't occurred to me. Enough of this foolishness, Margrave! It was futile of her to participate in the first place! A silver-haired half-devil isn't worthy of becoming our ruler! Oh? It sounds to me like you are purposely twisting the words of the Dragonstone in your favor. You must realize that Miss Amelia is a royal candidate chosen by the Dragon Insignia, no? She has not proven as such. After all, she has not appeared before us today. 
I was told this would simply be a gathering to explain the postponement. I did not expect an interrogation to be part of these proceedings as well. You silver-tongued... So then, Margrave... I understand such debates may get heated, but is this not going too far now? Lord Bordeaux and Margrave Mathers both bring about elegant points of contention. However, this is neither the time nor place to press such issues. We must weed out the true candidates to conduct the ceremony, but that is a task for another time. If Lord Miklatov says so, then I have no objections. Likewise, you'll hear no objections from me. How lovely it is to meet you. I am Melty Pristis. Being from the countryside, I still have much to learn. But I do hope we get along well. Nice to meet you too. To be honest though, I've probably got you beat in things that need to be learned around here. I'd love for us to become good friends. Yes. Let's... Oh, what a nice girl. Such an innocent smile warms my cold heart. Uh, um, is he by chance Margrave Mathers, the court magician? Indeed I am, Miss Melty. I am Margrave Roswall L. Mathers. It is a great pleasure to make your acquaintance. Ros can dish out proper intros just like that? That is quite bold of you to say. I'll have you know I hold one of the highest positions in the entire kingdom. You're also the biggest weirdo in the entire kingdom. Ah, you've got me there. <laughs> By the way, Miss Melty, you mentioned being from the countryside, but may I ask from where exactly? Uh, uh, well, I... My apologies, Margrave Mathers. Melty has experienced a great many hardships in her youth. I do hope you understand. I see. Hey, what's up with you, Roswall? It's rude trying to pry into someone's past like that. You really should drop it if she doesn't want to talk about it. I could ask you the very same thing, Subaru. Your actions are uncharacteristically apprehensive of you. You seem awfully cordial to Miss Melty. My, is this perhaps something I should report to Miss Amelia? It, it's not like that. She's just being proper with us, so it's common courtesy to return the gesture. Besides, look at all the other candidates. Melty is far more soothing to the soul. I see. You do have a point. Now that I think about it, Subaru, have you perchance heard of the Evil Eye Tribe? <laughs> Evil Eye Tribe? Never heard of them. Where'd that come from all of a sudden? Seeing you act so well behaved for once reminded me. They are known for having an extra eye on their bodies called an Evil Eye. And they are born with the ability to develop powers different from divine protections. Intriguing, no? Evil Eye, huh? Oh, Margrave. You're quite the informed aristocrat. I'd love to chat with you some more. Just the two of us. What do you say? 
An enticing request to be sure. Unfortunately, I'm quite busy preparing for the royal selection, though I do hope to take you up on your offer some other time. How about that? It seems I've been rejected. Then what about you, Subaru? Um, how about what? Uh, sorry, but I've only got eyes for Melee. How unfortunate. Not one, but two men have turned me down in a row. Boo-hoo. My heart is breaking. Boo-hoo? You're a tough nut to crack, aren't you? Well, this jilted little bug will be taking her leave now. Melty, let's go and say hi to the others. Ah, of course. Well then, we'll be seeing one another soon. Hmm. Hmm? What's up, Roswell? No, nothing. I was just thinking about how powerful an opponent will be facing. Well, now we seem to be in agreement with the overall plan, but why don't we try to meet in the middle a little bit more? Oh? You're demanding more from us already? All I ask is for your help in exposing the imposter among the royal candidates, Miss Cruchet. Are you implying that you know who it is? To some extent, yes. However, I need to obtain proof of my conjecture. That is why I'm coming to you for assistance. Hmm. This could prove to be quite beneficial for us as well. But I cannot agree to this so easily. You must have something to offer us in exchange to sway our decision, yes? Correct. Him. Huh? Wait, me? Subaru Natsuki? He just so happens to have a very particular trait, attracting certain types of animals, very dangerous ones. Hey now, Roswell, do you mean... What say you, Subaru? I'd like for you to resume your servitude for the sake of Miss Amelia. Do you have any objections? Uh, no, but... Margrave Mathers, just how much do you know about my family? I know only what I know. Is that not enough? So, you're already aware of my plans. Very well. It seems we have another common interest. Our alliance will grow all the stronger for it. Yes, I'd love to maintain good relations moving forward, Miss Cruchet. With that, I shall return to my manor for the time being. Subaru, you stay here to continue with your treatment. And don't worry, Miss Amelia will be coming here soon enough. You won't be lonely for much longer. Roswell. Are you sure about what you said earlier? About Melty being the imposter? Yes, I'm certain of it. She was hiding her evil eye somehow, but she did use one of her special quirks of being an evil eye tribe member. It is likely she will continue using it to sow discord between the royal candidates. I suspect that is her ultimate goal in all of this. Regardless, I must thank them. Thank them? They have given us a great opportunity to reveal the imposter, and the Council of Wise Men will owe us immensely for the discovery in return. That's pretty underhanded of you. Well, if Miss Cruchet is to focus all her efforts on this matter, it will only be a matter of time before the truth comes to light. Miss Cruchet's words are far more convincing than those from a clown such as myself. Then... What's going to happen to Melty? Who knows? She's tried to deceive the kingdom. She'll be lucky to escape the royal capital alive. <laughs> Subaru, is there not someone else you should be worrying about more than the imposter? Roswell? Once the imposter is exposed and the royal selection begins once more, who is the one you will pledge your support to? 
Who is the one person that is most important to you? The one you'd give your all to protect, even if it means discarding and abandoning all else. You must never forget. She didn't seem all that bad to me. That's because you were affected by her powers. Thank <laughs> you. 